He, Im, and Paige McKenzie is out following this group. Yeah, excellent drive to get to this position. She can be aggressive with this. She certainly has been. The green's a little softer today with that overnight rain. Good lies today, thought maybe they would. Yeah, you would typically think after an inch and a half of rainfalls that you would play the ball up, but really tremendous work by everyone here at the club to get this course. Saw that approach at the par five for Lydia Ko. This for Eagle. Two back up to eight in the fairway for a second. Esther Henslet at seven under. To that wind that's going to hit this ball once it gets up at the air. Seems like a lot of club, Karen. Yeah, it's just quite strong wind right now, Morgan. So it is a big difference depending on what part of the golf course you're on right now. And the Yep, really good. Short and back swing there. This is at the seventh and M. It's a seven iron. It's 136 yards to carry online with the pin. Asking for it to go. Well, it's fine. It's really good. Lauren Coughlin. Flag today just over a little ridge on the right side of the green. Oh, that is majestic from Coughlin, and she's going to have a, a good chance here to get to nine under par within the going along well. She's three under for the day. Trying to use some magic there from around the green, so. That will be to stay three shots back, of course. Oh, never a doubt. That's the way the week has been. That's the way 2024 has been. Three. Yeah, right around that ridge there, good. 18th to the ninth green where Haydan Yu has this for a birdie. Downhill all the way to the hole. The wind is on her back. It's good pace, this one. Oh, look at this. Gets one of those bogeys back with a long range birdie at nine. There's no let up in her. It almost seems just inevitable that she's going to hit good shots. It's got to be a really cool place to be if you're Nettie Corder. Look at this. Look at this. Come on now. Missing it in the right spot, chipping back into the wind. We've talked about how great she is with these clubs in her hands. I mean, just showing off at this point. Terry. If you weren't demoralized before that, <laughs> perhaps the rest of the field. Five. It's 498 today. It is reachable. Jasmine Koo, one of the six amateurs in the field, one of two to make it to the weekend. Oh, it hit the platform what? and hopped over. <laughs> all right, this is the first time I've seen that. That is something I have never seen in no. all of my years of playing and watching golf. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> she is so thankful for that Chevron advertising right there in the middle of the lake. Wow. That is just remarkable. All right. You take the bounces when they come. Exactly. You, you, yeah. you take whatever you can get in this game. Amazing. That was incredible. We got to talk to Glenn Wecklin from Chevron, get him to move the sign next year. He put that there on purpose. Amazing. Lottie Wode on the tee. This is the amateur that uh, Jasmine Koo is battling away with for low amateur honors. Ah, well, they might finish tied here because she could eagle the last. Well, talking about 17. Jasmine Kuh now this for birdie. 18 years of age and a senior at Cerritos High School out in California. And 
You go to USC and play golf. How about that? I was going to ask you, Terry, did she have to call the bank shot? I mean. <laughs> Different sport. Don't have to here. <laughs> what a birdie. Wow. Been a good day for the German Esther Henselite. It's her third of the par five, 13th. Made an eagle at the fourth today. Oh, that was bang on line for another one there. She's a couple under for the day. To 14, and Lauren Coughlin second. Sharing second place, how about that? Yeah, tough hole location to get it close to today on the right side over this bunker. That's a good leave. Remember how she had that lead after the opening round has hung around and now making a bit of a charge this to get it to 11. Yeah, this is a new putter that she put in the bag a couple weeks ago in Phoenix. Oh, it went in. And she is rolling the ball side for the players. She's I think it's a little strong this week. I was a little jittery. So <laughs> even with the 430 wake up call, no caffeine to not be any more antsy on the golf course. Look at this first birdie of the day. Yep. Definitely is a player that likes to show her emotions on her sleeve. Downhill. Great read. Huge you, you kind of have to take your medicine. The tendency is to want to try and make up the ground for, for, for losing one in, into the penalty area, but it's such a dangerous hole location. Doesn't like it, does she? No, it's going more towards the flag. Oh. Oh, oh, she doesn't <laughs> like it, she will now. My word. That talk, and he's continually talking to her. He's still talking to her now. It's just so important for her going forward. You from a great spot on the fairway, 136 to the hole. Lines coming into the week, Lydia Ko, just one point away from the LPGA Hall of Fame. You get two points for a win here. Not going to win, obviously, but finishing up in style. Let's take a look at the ball flight. This one seems. A little boring from the fairway. <laughs> Trying to fade this towards the hole from 113. You gonna see a birdie at 16? That's the best opportunity we're gonna have all day. Absolutely. Since there has not been one yet today. Hey, for Ataya Tedekun. This was just a moment ago. is how you get it close at this par three. Wonderful. Oh, this is all over the flag. If it's the right club. It is. Great shot. And it sets up a good birdie chance for Head on You to get it to 10 under. This is on a little draw. This is a really good line, too. Yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. Watch out. Oh, it hits the flag. Would you believe it? What a shot. The incredible winning streak continues. It's five in a row as Nellie Porta captures the Chevron Championship. And she just refuses to lose right now. This is just truly remarkable. To win five straight on the LPGA Tour at this level. Sensational stuff and a major champion.